Hey everybody, welcome back to X-Plane 11 and we are on Pilot Edge uh, Online Air Traffic Control. Um, I'm going to do a quick little flight sim economy flight. I left the plane up here in Santa Barbara during the last stream and I'm going to pick it up now and take it back to John Wayne so it's there. I do When I fly on Flight Sim Economy and Pilot Edge, I... I like to have my home base of operations. Uh, before I started flying actually out of John Wayne, I thought I was going to be flying out of Fullerton, and I use that on all my flights. And to me, it adds the uh, it adds realism to be based out of one airport and always go back to it uh, at some point. You know, whether or not it's it's on the very next flight or in within one flight, I do like to at least end up back there. So. Let's um, let's get this thing started up. Uh, nice for a change from the West Coast MP. I agree, yeah. And and Vatsim, the new codec, I'll definitely try to get that set up um, and just see see what it's about. But we I'm not going to do that now because it's going to it's going to be a lot of trial and error. So all right. Batteries on, beacon on, fuel pump on for six seconds. <laughs> Two players. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The two blinder thing just does not do it for me. Let's get the brake coming on and start her up. Yeah, I, I could go for some for some nice biz jet operations for sure. Uh, all right, so now we know exactly where to go to get our weather information. Thirty-two sixty-five is already in there. Eight zero, arriving and departing runways one five left, one five right, two five. Visual approaches in use. VFR departures contact clearance delivery, advice on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information alpha. Santa Barbara Municipal Airport, Aegis Information Alpha, 0153 Zulu, wind calm, visibility 8, sky condition, clear, temperature 18. 2.14, altimeter 29 or 80, arriving and departing runways 15 Hello? left, 15 right, 25, visual approaches in use, VFR departures contact clearance delivery, advice on course heading, altitude, and if flight following Lovely. is requested. Right. Shut her up here, and then go to... Thirty-two nine. <laughs> What's up, Beardy? Thirty-two. Santa Barbara clearance Bonanza two zero four Lima Echo VFR departure request. Two zero four Lima Echo, Santa Barbara clearance. Go ahead. Yeah, Santa Barbara clearance. Uh, Bonanza two zero four Lima Echo, or a BE thirty three Slain Gulf. We'd like flight following to John Wayne via the coastal route at five thousand five hundred. Departure of flight runway heading at or above 1500 feet until advised. 1500 feet until advised. Departure frequency 120.55. Squawk 2643 204 Lima Echo. Did I say below or above? At or above? Yeah, I think you said at or above. Okay. Yeah, I think you said at or above. Okay. Yeah, I think you said at or above. Okay. Yeah, I think you said at or above. Okay. Yeah, I think you said at or above. Okay. Yeah, I think you
and I said, I said 1,500. I wanted to say 1,500. Nobody says 1,500. All right, runway heading is going to be 25. Somersault all the way there. Palm Springs Tower, Sky Three Eighty Five is over. Seven. Sky Three Eighty Five, thank you. Runway with one three right, clear to land. One calm. One three right, one three right, clear to land. Sky Three Eighty Five. Center 137 Pop Alpha, Los Angeles Center, Santa Barbara Altimeter 2980. Just confirm your final cruise will be 10,000. I'm sorry, uh, for direction of flight, it should be an odd thousand plus 500. So it should be 9,500 or 11,500. Santa Barbara Ground Bonanza 204 Lima Echo Taxi. So 204 Lima Echo, Santa Barbara Ground, stay your location. Rover at Signature, 204 Lima Echo. So 204 Lima Echo, runway 25 Taxi via Juliet. 25 via Juliet, 204 Lima Echo. We are off. There's our little guy taxiing down Juliet. Uh, oh, didn't tell Crown where it was? Yeah. Yep. Well, that's part of the... That's... Um, one of the good things about Pilot Edge is it does force you to um, be a little bit more specific because some things are not necessarily implied like they would be in the real world, Radio check. you also get Radio the experience check. of departing out of a different runway, uh, at least more frequently. Radio check five five. Um, being out of the, you know, the John Wayne um, cadence, you know, ground 204 Lima Echo, or, you know, 53176, ACI West taxi, you know, I'm thrown off what I usually say, and... Approaching runway result, two five. Uh, miss, miss stuff, but. so we don't have another uh, aborted takeoff. Let's get this thing started up. There we go. John Wayne, three charter passengers, loaded up. We are good. Possibly Chinese. What's up, dude? Happy Wednesday. Let's switch over to tower, and let's get on 2055. Santa Barbara Tower, Bonanza 204 Lima Echo, short 25 at Juliet. Clear for takeoff, 25204. Lights, camera, action. Cal flaps are open. Uh, camera would be the um, transponder. So strobes. Transponder on, 
action is mixture forage. Okay, we're restricted to 1,500. We'll hold this runway heading here. Sky 385, uh, excavate unable to access the parking via Whiskey. Have a great rest of your day. It's time for the Sky 8. All right, taxi via Whiskey to Ram. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Sky 8, Sky 8 pass, huh? Disregard. Uh, apparently, it doesn't appear you actually have stamina. Let me verify. Okay. Country 85, disregard. Uh, it went through, so you should be able to see Sky Asia. Uh, you're uh, completely ready. All right, yeah, it looks good on my end. Thank you very much. Santa Barbara departure, Bonanza 204 Lima Echo, 1,200 restricted, 1,500. So 204 Lima Echo, Santa Barbara departure, maintain appropriate beach altitude, zero radar contact, Santa Barbara altimeter, 2980. Alright, 2980, own altitude, 204 Lima Echo. You want us uh, on this? Two five zero heading still. Therefore, we go. Uh, resume on navigation. Okay, resume on nav. Therefore, we go. Visibility is not great. This is still eight miles too, but it's amazing how closed in you feel once you start getting below ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go on now. That's fine. All right. So we'll hold. We'll hold this. That's what I was looking for, so that stupid um, don't fry your avionics message goes away. <laughs> this visibility freaking sucks. Up to 5,500. There is Santa Barbara. There's 712 Romeo off at San Luis Ground, 555. There's 
Kenny, thank you very much someone else calling? for the subscription. <laughs> it doesn't work like that, but she still said F-bomb. So good job, uh, whatever, uh, voiced lady. <laughs> Kenny, thank you very much for five months. F-bomb. Yeah. Well, this is some fantastic scenery here. How's our okay, so the up arrow is actually for the down. Got it. Yeah, look at this. Look at how boring that. Boring that was. DJ88, thank you for following. Welcome. Welcome aboard. Hi. Yeah, this is... And it's reporting eight. What is, uh, what's an Oxnard showing? What is Oxnard showing? Visibility seven. So the lowest that I've been in in, in the real world so far besides IMC is five miles visibility and I did not like it it's not uh, it's not cloud cover it's just I don't even know what it's just poor visibility no scud running unfortunately because that is always kind of fun but it's just it's just the visibility is is bad but yeah five miles of visibility is that is my personal minimum I have decided <laughs> Because that is, that's not, that's not good. That's not good. If anyone, has anybody ever called, or has anybody ever flown in VFR minimums? Anyone ever been in, in three miles visibility? Because five, five is a pucker. You, you have been, Yoshi? Yeah, five, uh, five VFR was not, was not good. Three, I can't even imagine three. I, five is just, is, is my, that is my minimum. And, and being at five was like, I don't like this. So if it's, yeah, it's gotta be six or three. We were told we were told to report three mile final when coming into land. I was having to guide the pilot to the airport just by looking at the ground features beneath us, and then tell him, "Yeah, this is three miles. Trust me." Airport calling. Radio check. Q five by five. Oh my God. That that is not. Six hundred, two mile. Yeah, that's not that's not good. That's not good either. I mean, I'm sure at some point, landing with reduced visibility, IFR, you you probably get used to that level, like two miles, six hundred. You probably get used to that uh, on a you know uh, instrument approach. 
But three miles VFR. That sucks. I just noticed that that yaw damper is separate from the AP stack. Here, the full call time, but you're coming in with very high static. Um, it's static on the volume. I believe the volume and clarity would be good, but uh, you're just getting a lot Yeah, the co yeah, 5,500 is going to be, this is not going to look great. <laughs> this, is, this is not going to be a very scenic flight, Whiskey, Catholic, Catholic, but it's going to be, uh, it's going to be nice once we actually get there. Yeah, we'll be able to. We'll be fine. I mean, we've got, we've got four flight. We've got the, we've got the nav. We'll be fine navigationally. It just won't look great. Heading 070. Send and maintain 1, 2, Almost there. Um, Ryan, I think you're thinking of somebody else. Um, unless you are too, Yoshi, but um, Flight X 52 was the one that was trying to be a Turn that off and over and back, correct? Man, this is all legal. This is VFR minimums. That's frick no. Yeah, that was uh well um Yoshi, you know Flight, Flight X fifty two. Um he he hasn't been in the stream in a while. I haven't chatted with him in a while, but um he he was trying to. That would be fun, though. I don't think I need the FA requirements for it. So what what are the requirements for it? I have no idea. It's actually one of the things I'm interested in asking the DPE when I do my check ride is just ask him about about his job. Well, it, it doesn't have to be the exact stuff, Yoshi, but is it like minimum flight requirements or minimum hours or CF, a certain dual given, something like that? Some combination? All of that, yeah. <laughs> kiss, kiss those out. Well, we know that there are some screws loose in this cabin. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, this thing is pretty rock solid. It's not not very realistic, is it? That is too bad. Yeah, this sucks, man. Look at that. So we're not off and over jowling ground. Below minimums. Do you have audio? Mode for you the text away when a Christian runway to your right next to the Bravo Kilo. No audio. Well, we're we're actually above them. 
right now by a couple miles. This doesn't really feel like... This just looks like haze, like a, a constant gradient almost. Um, I remember it being more like... Like just sitting in a ring. And that was kind of the unsettling, the unsettling part is like being followed around by this ring of visibility. So call up approach Sky Lane 6016 Charlie, level 5000. Sky 6016 Charlie, Sir Cal approach polymer altimeter 2983. 2983, one All right, here we go. Sir Cal approach November 137, Papa Alpha with you, 11,000. requirements. Sir Cal approach LA altimeter 2980. Twenty-four seven, four, four Sir, two, Romeo Alpha, taxi to Arcadia Alpha. Have a great day. Two nine one through with heat. So, caliper, Shaman Altimeter, two nine eight zero. Information Victor, current expected visual approach runway two zero right. Send me team five thousand. Uh, and PAC, 2,000 hours, 1,000 in airplanes, of which at least 300 in airplane of the class, class of, for designation. 100 hours were at night in the past 12 months, 300 hours in airplanes. And as a flight instructor, 500 in Approach Bonanza 204 Lima Echo 5500. Hey, 2980 Lima Echo. Heading 180. Thank you so much for uh, six months. That's fantastic. Heading, thank you very much for the support. Um, I appreciate that. Appreciate all you guys hanging out. I got to stay nice and sharp with the flying and the procedure stuff as I study all of this uh, check ride stuff. Okay, one six Charlie, thank you. Do you have bridge request? Yeah, I'll take the R now two eight right. Uh, break good. out the book. I have it here. I <laughs> this is kind of funny. So. I was reading it at lunch today, and the uh, the third chapter is weather information. So you've got weather observation reports, you've got weather... Uh, weather forecasts. Uh, what else was there? Uh, but some pretty complicated stuff, and a lot of, a lot of it is not really applicable. Um, you know, some of the weather uh, products that they talk about in here aren't really used anymore. You know, you got four flight, you just have, there's other ways to do it. So I was going a little bit slower through there. Um, and once I got to the next page, which was performance and limitations, it was just like, it made me feel so much better because the first couple of chapters 
are really slow. It's pilot qualifications, which is a lot of regulations and crap. Um, and then it's airworthiness, which is a lot more regulations and crap. And all the MEL stuff. And, um, just like stuff that like you'll probably really dig into for the check ride and then you know uh, consult as needed as you go but not really something that you're going to need to keep fresh um, in, your, in your brain uh, three elements to create a thunderstorm moisture or vapor but moisture um, upward motion don't friggin' tell me. And um, it's a lapse rate. Uh, it's a um, unstable lapse rate. So moisture, instability, upward. But anyway, so um, so these first three chapters were all stuff that are very heavy check ride stuff. Not, of course, not that they're not important. Um, you know, just when flying in general, everyday flying, but you know, a lot of that stuff you're not going to need to know off the top of your head. The performance limitations is a lot of the aerodynamic stuff and a lot of actual flying things. And it made me feel so much better that I finally got to a, a chapter, got to a section that I'm just like, okay, I'm going to uh, if you say unstable lapse rate, the GP is going to tell me, uh, I was going to say un... Oh, tell me about lapse rate. Yeah. I'm kind of nervous for when I need to get all that again home for my trip, right? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm nervous too, 180, but just, there's a lot of stuff and you're not going to go over all of it, so just, yeah, I'm just focusing on being comfortable going with this being confident going in there and knowing that if I don't know something I know where to look for it. And then the flying on? stuff should be pretty easy. Uh, I read that yeah, book I read that blue book three times cover to cover before my left. Yeah I'll I'll go through it for sure a few times. Um, and it's been fun to read. It's it's fun to read because it really is just like all the, um, you know, the big highlight things that you need to know anyway. So yeah, the, the performance stuff is is pretty good. Right base for two four right at contact hour one three three point nine one two seven five. So I mean I could flip we could we could check. Two one three whiskey John Wayne Tower runway two check zero right quarter land one one seven zero right seven. Until I gotta do the coastal route. Sky one one nine off November turn right heading zero one zero. Yeah, how, like, this is, a, this is an easy one. How does air density affect aircraft performance? Um, stuff like that is is more fundamental than, you know, okay, your, your left so nav light is out. You could go ahead and turn towards the airport. That would be helpful. You're actually going westbound, to, uh, flying away from the airport. Yeah, tell me about the fuel requirements for uh, cross-country. And the the, um, the cross country planning stuff is really cool. I mean, daytime you need 30 minutes past your destination. Uh, nighttime you need 45. Sky nine off November. Expect approach. do you know the current time? The answer is yes. 
Delta 16 Charlie, fly heading 0 contact to Cal Approach 124.3. Do you know how to spell your name? Yes. 2435, fly heading 090, 6416 Charlie. And about to land from the southeast, take in the call sign. That's really funny. Is already up here. So Fernando 75 Bravo, Almonte Tower in our left base, or left downwind actually, southeast Bonnie should at downwind spot, probably better. 136 is already in there, and we're 3233. I don't even have to look. Hello, Iowa. Yes. <laughs> Iowa, what's happening? Southeast bound toward the airport to join. Well, now you're going to be joining the downwind. The instructor wants to come to join the base. 52 Fort Lane Echo, contact for Cal Approach 134.2. At 342, Fort Lane Echo. So Cal Approach, dial in 6016 Charlie, level 5090 heading. I can't remember what it was during my ride. I way over answered the question, and half of you, I expected the DP to go down the path I created, but he didn't, and I was so pleased. <laughs> so, Cal Approach, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, 5500. Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, Sir Cal Approach, Barry Caps, Center 2980. You have information, Romeo. Uh, disregard, you're not going to Burbank. Yeah. <laughs> so, 137 Alpha Alpha, yeah, it almost looks like you're, you're about to land Railway 6. Um, can you confirm where you're headed, please? Iowa. Iowa has the Founder 16 month badge. That's freaking sweet. For some Papa Alpha, regardless of what state the airport is in, they all are going to be the same way. Um, runway 24, you're going to have to approach from the east to enter a base. Um, you're pretty much flying directly through the departure uh, flow there. Um, Anyway, I'm going to put you on the south side. Inner left downwind, runway 25 left. Inner left downwind, runway 25 left. Report left base, runway 25 left. Do not land on runway 7. <laughs> Do not land on runway 7. <laughs> uh, Ty, Ty was looking for me on, on Batsim. Yeah. Seven Papa Alpha, you're, you're overhead runway 7 right I now at 800 feet. Um, it's not there. There's no way you're going to join the downwind at that, that point. Continue on runway heading. And uh, I'll have a turn for you shortly. Just continue runway heading. Climb to pattern altitude and I'll get you turned back around. Hydration station. Yeah, you give it to him. Geneva. Seven five Bravo. It helmet. looks to be slightly right of your uh, head and uh, right. She is trying to help. To your right, Just, uh, but uh, yeah, sure, um, you can go ahead and um, join the young ones. Sometimes it comes at the expense. And, uh, just let me know if you get to the airport in time. Slow.
advise when ready to copy a phone number. Okay, 705 Bravo is confirming to left, to left 180. is still on the board. <laughs> still hanging in there, man. Still hanging in there. Little, little guy is holding strong. Okay. That's awesome. Turn seven about Alpha, turn left. Yeah. Join the final from like two five left. Hang in there, from little buddy. Two five left, quit land. You can do it, little buddy. lost the luster after flying there. I was so excited. So excited to go there. Burbank is next. I want to try to see if I can sneak into Burbank at some point. Well, it was just it was just too busy and dirty and just like not um, I mean I was so excited I was it was my the first the first landing of that flight um, it wasn't a great landing it was busy it was you know only one runway so it was like extra busy but um, uh, blow minimums thank you sorry <laughs> sorry Melon Melon's back up in there with six, so that's good. That's a good, um, that's a good one up. Whiteman seems like a nicer airport than Van Nuys. Whiteman's a little bit goofy too, uh, but probably more interesting of a landing because it is just like right in the middle of uh, like buildings and just industrial area. Four stacks, so it should be somewhere. It's just like really hidden. Oh, there, yeah, there it is. It's just you can barely see it. It's so hidden. Um, I mean, I'm so super glad I. Turn right, direct, maybe. I went to Van Nuys. Right, direct, maybe. I've been wanting to go there maybe. since we moved down here. Uh, that that movie One Six Right is really good, uh, and it was it was special going in there. But I I know because Brad was like, I get it. Okay, I know, off November, I know you're right, excited. You'll know what I'm talking about when you get there. And when I got back, I was like, dude, you were totally right about Van Nuys. Like, I'm super happy I went, but I get it. I get it. And no, I am not pregnant. Sometimes only pregnant with emotion. But there's still plenty more airports left on the list. Burbank would be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, there's. I have. I I went through the, all the ones that I've been to. And it's kind of cool how many airports I actually have landed at this point. Uh, L70, which one? What is L70? Cleared Arnav from way to a right approach. Crossman via 4200 or above. Cleared to Arnav 28 right approach. Oh, Aguadulce? No, I have not. No, but that is on the list because that is a cross country. Um, that's a cross country flight. <laughs> uh, 
below minimums. I still don't know what that means, but whatever it was, that is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> um, Rigorian, happy Wednesday, man. Yeah, what is that? Um, I did not snag a license yet, but I am working on it. I am in check ride prep mode, Rigorian. It's a nice view of Benaz. My, my Orange County uh, tile loading. Well, Rigorian, at least one of those things is true. I thank you. I hope so. Brad is very confident that I'll be totally fine, but uh, I'm obviously a little bit uh, nervous about it. Okay, so Geneva forgot about us in the coastal route. SoCal Approach, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, 5,500 established for the coastal route southbound. Carolina off November, contact Carolina Tower 12618. For Limit Echo, uh, make your turns out, though, enjoy the scopes or remain outside proper space. Maintain B5 5500. Contact SoCal Bridge 134.9. All right, 349 will remain outside the Bravo, 2049. So it's a little bit different than getting cleared in the real world back at Camarillo. 349, SoCal Approach, Bonanza 204, Lima Echo, 5,500 established for the coastal route southbound. 3204, Lima Echo, SoCal Approach, LA altimeter 2980, clear through Los Angeles, Barbara Space, see the cool through, maintain view 55,500 while inside Barbara Space. Right, cleared through the Bravo, maintain 5,500 on the coastal route, 204, Lima Echo. And then we're that lined up perfectly for. Nah, it's actually not really that perfectly, but pretty close. One six Tower, one nine point two. Going to Tower, one nine point two. Yeah, I have no idea what any of that means, <laughs> but but thank you below minimums. Diego airports are a lot of fun. Montgomery School, the Lesby School. Santa Monica is on the list. Um, it'd be nice to give LAX a shot. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's so many that haven't been too early. So, Campbell, Sky Off 739, Whiskey Romeo, just over to Brockton Airport, that's 6,300, we'll fight forward. 
That is the question. And the call sign 739 whiskey you are, Romeo. You are up completely off the board. Skyhawk 739 whiskey Romeo. Skyhawk 739 whiskey Romeo, so count per squawk 2364 IDAM. Oh, oh yeah, the only yeah. Well, night currency. I'm not gonna get three landings there, but sneaking in there at night would be kind of fun. Uh, that would have to be a a group effort on that one for sure. But it would be that would be cool. Night Airport, currency is fantastic at Ontario. That's a good one. thing is well lit, super huge, and they love it. Yeah, you get one and then two back at John Wayne. You can do that pretty easily. Good stop to go. Uh, heading, no, the, the check ride is not scheduled, but I am going through the prep right now and then... We're looking at about a two-week lead time, so once uh, once we hit that, then we'll get it scheduled and see see when we can do it. It's it's close. I mean, I'm not in a rush. I don't have you know like any deadline or you know reason to really rush through it. Uh, the weather's fine, you know, it's not going to be, you know, an issue to get it in before the weather turns or anything, so there's really no, no rush, uh, just being prepared, uh, fully prepared is kind of the goal, so however long that takes to be fully prepared is, will be how long it takes to, um, you know, get, get it scheduled. Eat, eat my melons. <laughs> well, thank you, Ceremonial Melon. What is... Um, there's, is it this thing? So we got, we have these two things. <laughs> oh, so he got, he got it by one. That is pretty funny. So are those Twitch only emotes? Is that what I'm gathering? Like they're, or do they just kind of like randomize like preferred account ones? Like what's RGB or RPG? sword. That epic sword is pretty epic. Turn that off and have more tax to break in Bravo. Have a great rest of your night. Turn one six Charlie tax to break in via Mike. Golf one. Hotel. Cross runway two eight left at Mike. Pilot Mike, how's it going? Yeah, that is uh, LAX right here. Big old annoying, frustrating, heaven forbid if you need a flight out of it, LAX. But it is kind of the, the crown jewel around here, and it's definitely fun flying over it, seeing all the big boys taxi around. Work on the magical flyover LA next to it. The flyover and do not Quick question. Um, at the five what Pilot Mike. Thank you very much for following. Welcome aboard. The left turn 
on the 123 heading. And I know it's November. Um, overall, it was okay. Um, the only thing I'm kind of a little concerned about is just the descent, the, the, the quick descent. As soon as you join the localizer, you had about a mile and a half to drop at 1,800 feet. Um, so, or rather 800 feet. Um, if you felt like it was a stable approach, if you were established and you, you weren't rushing or anything, um, you did technically fulfill all the requirements for the rating. Um, I'm not sure why you missed the localizer the first time, uh, because it was, it was a pretty good Here intercept. Go. Here we go, Carinado. Doing it again. I'll throw him an eye down too. Zero nine off number, Roger. So <laughs> the localizer, the needle didn't actually come alive when you crossed the localizer. It was just like stuck on a heading. So we have fuel tank is selected. We have fuel. I mean, this is what happened before, and it just like stops. It just stops. Turn that off, of November. Roger. Um, I'll go ahead and put a pass in for the I one. Um, yeah, you understand the error. You know how pissed. to avoid it in the future. What's up, Max? You've got a couple more times. You can practice it. Um, so. Uh, Okay, um, going, going ahead and giving you a pass on that. Congratulations, and good luck on the next one. SoCal Approach, Bonanza 204 Lemeca. We're having a Carinado engine issue right now and uh, descending. Uh, we don't need an emergency declared right now. We're uh, we're gliding towards uh, Torrance at the moment, but we might get this engine back here. I'll uh, I'll advise once it's back on two zero four the Mecca. It's the same thing it did last time, and right before we were about to crash, it came back on. I could I could make um, LAX, uh, but I could also make uh, Torrance. It'll just go brrrr. <laughs> yeah, we've been hijacked. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like that's a more sympathetic thing than, uh, we're gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, so approach, uh, we're not getting the engine back here. We're going to need to make an emergency landing at Torrance. Performly at Echo, Roger. Uh, the airport is slightly left here at 12 o'clock and uh, less than three miles. When it will stay full on board and remaining fuel in minutes. We have four souls on, uh, on board and we've got uh, about three hours of fuel on board. Airport is inside 204 and Echo. Thank you. Uh, contact on tower 133.07. I'll maintain rear services on you as long as possible. Okay, it's uh, 3307 for Lee Meco. Affirmative. I think we have it made. Um, yeah, and I, I don't want to squawk because it like buzzes her and there's no need to do that. And 
so Cal Forley Mako, we've got the airport made. Do one one left, uh, for the Echo. For the Echo, Roger. Have the uh, tower on the phone here. Uh, you Five hundred. Clear to land runway one one left. If you're able to change the tower frequency, you can. Otherwise, you can stay with me. Okay, we'll go over to tower thirty three oh seven for the Echo and clear to land one one left. Okay, we got three green. Engine still never came online. Oh, Echo Echo. Found it. Uh, Hello. Just touched down. Found the ground. One left. Uh, affirmative, yeah, we'll get a tow if uh, that's possible. We'll be off, um, we went full length here, and we'll be off at uh, Juliet, on the right of Juliet. Your four line echo, Roger. Uh, the tow will be out there in a uh, couple minutes. Roger that, thank you, 204 line echo. Good, good job, Geneva, on, <laughs> on the simulated engine failure. <laughs> Oh my god, it just, like, never, it never came back. Wow. I, that was my first actual full-on, uh, and by the way, we should have completely just, like, didn't really follow the emergency procedure after, on takeoff there and turn everything off, but... Um, that, uh, that was my first actual emergency on Pilot Edge that wasn't <laughs> forced by one of the controllers. <laughs> um, what's up, Adone? I didn't want to go to, uh, I didn't want to squawk emergency because it like beeps. It makes a really annoying noise for the controllers. So, uh, yeah, that's not, um. wasn't necessary if I can just declare it. Uh, see, engine failures are no big deal when you got altitude, yep. And when you know exactly where all the airports are. Um, I know, that was actually, she handled that pretty pretty well. Um, oh, I tuned to 7700, oh, got it, got it, got it, oh. <laughs> first Pilot Edge actual emergency. That is definitely not the first time I've had an emergency on Pilot Edge by any means. Um, most of those were controller, uh, controller induced. <laughs> um, all right, I f we still have our our uh, flight sim economy job going right now. Um, we can Disconnect. yeah for for no power that actually wasn't that wasn't too bad of a landing. Uh, no no flaps no power. Died just like right at the end there. <laughs> well, there wasn't a fire. I mean, it was just an engine. The engine had died, so wasn't there wasn't much to <laughs> evacuate from. But that was not too bad. <laughs> and one more. Thank you, Melon. How does your gear come down in the Bonanza, or was the engine sort of still on? Uh, it was kind. I mean, it. it wasn't really on um but yeah i don't know i mean there there is an emergency release for the gear so if i did actually lose the engine uh there is a emergency there is an emergency release for the gear uh, and i on the a36 it's back here oh yeah here we go um emergency gear 
uh, emergency landing gear. So just pull up on that. So if if we did if we actually did fully lose the the gear, I would have just grabbed grabbed that thing. Um, but the as it was, I think there was still because the propeller was spinning. I think there may have still been some. Um, I mean, it was essentially riding on the alternator, so there should have still been some electricity going into the system um, on top of whatever was left in the battery. Uh, so it, it was fine. Um, well, because the engine is still spinning, right? So isn't the... Um, you'll be able to put the gear down quite some time after the engine fails. But if the propeller's spinning, it's still turning the alternator, right? Um, no, yeah, I know, but I was saying, like, if, if the battery was dead, if your battery was dead and you needed to pull the emergency gear and the prop was windmilling, it's not going to be enough, probably, to, uh, to send the gear down, but you would still have some electricity, right? No, I know, I know it doesn't work off the alternator, but I'm saying it works. It's coming from the battery, and the alternator could still be charging the battery. It would still be spinning, though. It, yeah, it would not be any any voltage. Sir, it's turning the alternator, but not enough to produce enough to work the gear. Yeah, so it would, it would kill it anyway. <clears throat> yeah, our, our RPMs were, like, at 5,000. Okay, so what the hell, Carinado? Um, okay, so it has, it has fuel flow. What did it do? Is it a <laughs> cylinders or so I just f is the engine just fried? Transponder failed. Okay, I don't know why that's important to us. Um something must have broke. Cylinders are heavily damaged. Compression is way down. Yeah, the, did the engine just blow up? <laughs> no, that was care. Yeah, that was that was not Pilot Edge. Okay, so overhaul that, refill that. What the hell? Okay, we'll use we'll get we'll upgrade it as we got our engine rebuilt. Yeah, the engine just completely blew up. <laughs> <laughs> the head just the head gasket melted what the hell we were cruising along fine i'll have to go back and watch and see if like the oil pressure dropped or cylinder temperature was like super high or something that seems like a really catastrophic thing to have happen um don't don't blow up your engine Thank you, Melon. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I did prime the new engine. Is it coffin? This thing is just completely broken is probably what happened. Cessna Skyhawk 204. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I did that. I did mixture full out, throttle full. Uh, let's overhaul it again. <laughs> Just 
just put in a brand just put in a brand new engine. Uh, can I can you change the oil even if it's? Uh, let's see. Oh, 10.30. Let's see if we reload her. Use fine wire. That's 70,000, dude, that's at least $70,000. Just like instantly, son of a bitch. Oh. That sucks. Completely the the economy on our flight sim economy job makes no sense also oh, now it's on put in the fine use fine wire all right i feel like i may have jinxed it by turning it off but let's see if it'll at least start now Bro, you were just on. Okay, let's do the prime again. Uh, I don't think I have FSE um, attached to it, no. I just want to get back to John Wayne with my three people. I don't think it was primed enough. Whoa, where are you going? Where are you going? I have the brakes fully on. sure I can get this flight sim job going to connect master. Runway's three zero right, Alpha Bravo, zero seven echo. Did I get screwed by doing that replay? Oh, it's back in frickin' Santa Barbara. God, fricker. All right, well, <laughs> guess I gotta. Well, at least get the plane. <laughs> at least get the plane back to John Wayne, one way or the other. Son of a bitch. Torrance Tower 240. Oh, oh no, what'd you say? 3307. <laughs> was this control shifty? No, I actually started it. <laughs> I actually, it, I think it was not. Um, Primed all the way, but I just reloaded the the plane. Went through, started from, started from scratch. Okay. Torrance Tower, Bonanza two zero four Lima Echo. We're over in the run up area off of Juliet for a two nine right, departing to the southeast. Uh, if you're looking for a taxi on a cafe ground. 
Uh, we're actually, uh, we never left the run-up, so we are at the run-up short of 290 right. Fort Lamaco. 320 Fort Lamaco, Roger, so you're short of the runway, ready to go? Uh, affirmative, Fort Lamaco. Four Lima Echo, Roger, runway 2 right, clear for takeoff from course approved, wind 2606. Alright, 2 right, clear for takeoff 204 Lima Echo. Lights, camera, is that working? Yep. Make sure for rich. Alright, well, we completely blew up a bonanza. Approaching runway 29 right. Thanks. Emergency landing. Yeah, I couldn't bust the Bravo if I wanted to. It's 5,000 feet above us. <laughs> oh, shh. What the hell was that? All right, pause the break. Whatever the hell that was. Alright, 28-1 is what we're going to next. Uh, well, that was exciting. A lot more exciting than I was intending it to be. Ground effect for just a second. Pull up. Uh, Pull up. I mean, uh, soft field. That's kind of um, pissed pilot. Pissed pilot. Welcome aboard. Thank you for following. Uh, staying in ground effect like that is kind of a soft field technique. Get the speed up, and I mean, it just depends on if you know if you have any obstacles that are in your way. Yep, soft field takeoff, you kind of keep it in ground effect for a while. Okay, 26-0, let's see what the weather situation is at. Depends on my left. Right. The plane's weight, right, Yoshi? Yeah, not like how many donuts you had this morning. Clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and in flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, whiskey. Do you have whiskey? John Wayne Airport. Eight is information, whiskey. Zero two five three zero. Swole. Bakersfield Tower. Got to stay in ground effect a little bit. 2207 Echo. Holding short of runway 30 right. So, 227 Echo, Bakersfield Tower. Runway 30 right. Clip takeoff. Clip for takeoff 30 right. So, 2207 Echo. All right, we are out of uh, Torrance. SoCal Approach, good evening, Bonanza. Destination ATIS is 126.0. With whiskey at John Wayne, we're just over the uh, Long Beach Harbor.
204 Lima Echo, SoCal approach, um, Squawk 1765, ident, take in your request. All right, 1765. And so Cal Approach, Bonanza 204, Lee Mecca. We're just over the Queen Mary inbound John Wayne with whiskey. Before Lee Mecca, Roger Radar, contact over Queen Mary, the uh, John Wayne Altimeter 2982, proceed to Miles Square Park. Okay, straight to Miles Square 204, Lee Mecca. Uh, that's not. Uh, 204 Tango Bravo Van Nuys Ground, runway 16 right taxi via Alpha Charlie. We'll do it. We'll do it anyway. That's that's Skyhawk zero seven echo contact departure. Did I even Chris's voice Sky zero seven echo contact makes you to departure yeah, with uh, let's see, for my soft fields, always lift it off and accelerate ground effects to VX and then pop up. It's kind of fun. It's just, I guess a lot of the times unnecessary, but it's kind of fun, I guess. Depends on how much runway you have too, and how oh, much okay. like what's in front of you, what kind of options you have. <laughs> Long ass runway. Yeah, dude, just use all of it. <laughs> you paid for it. Use all of it. Square, which is a little bit, uh, a little bit goofy. Hey, Verity, happy Wednesday. Good evening. 204 Tango Bravo Van Nuys Tower, runway 16 right, clear to take off right, close traffic approved. Report midfield down when he's down. Poor Orange County ortho. Well, tomorrow is Friday Eve, and that is usually a good thing. I feel good about Thursdays. That's a good call. Right. Can you send me um, Yeah, could you repost what you posted so I remember? We are hauling ass. <laughs> I'm going to do it off. I'm not going to do it on the street, but I'll do it. I'll do that. Oh, I should probably get 
Circle approach, Bonanza, for the Maco, over Mile Square. That's for the Maco, contact John Tower, 12618, see ya. 2618, for the Maco, see ya. Jowing Tower, Bonanza, 204, Lima Echo, 2000 inbound from Mile Square for 20 left. And 204, Lima Echo, Jowing Tower, and a right base from a 20 left land. Hey, Jowing Tower, is it possible we could get a uh, cross over the control tower and enter a left downwind for 20 left? Uh, there are four Lima Echo affirmative uh, uh, cross midfield to beam the uh, tower at 1500, join a left down, join a left downwind or a 20 left to land. Okay, two zero left, clear to land. Actually, we make this a uh, uh, low approach, and then we'll be landing in the next one. For the Maco. For the Maco, clear to the option, left close traffic. Clear to option, two zero left, left close traffic for the Maco. We are on the same page with. I'm not indecisive. It's just funny that they, um, like I would rather replicate the difficult proceed not difficult not difficult but like the less convenient version because that's what you usually get versus the like in real life if he said right base for two zero right i'd be like dude hell yeah sign me up um but it's kind of nice to actually replicate the, the uh, procedure that you'd normally get yeah, wow yeah, midfield at thirteen. No, I cross it. I cross it. You can start descending once you're at the tower. Shut up. Caution, TFR ahead. Also, caution, I can't see where I'm going. Well, it's better than crossing at 2,500. Sink rate, sink rate. <laughs> like I did in, in the Cessna. All right, this is... What's up, Ernie? This thing feels a little bit faster with those mods to uh, told the cross above 3,000 and he turned at 2,000. <laughs> What's up, Fluff? Jowing Tower Bonanza midfield left downwind 2 0 left. That's for Lima Echo, runway 2 0 left, click the option. Click the option 2 0 left for Lima Echo. Okay, so the mixture's full rich. Prop is coming in. Gears down. Jackie 4 Fox Rock Golf, he's contact Johnway Tower, 126.8. Good day. 126.8, see ya. Heading, have a great night. Have a nice dinner. Oh man, this thing is. Whoa! Out. Found it! Hello. Found the ground. Subway Lake. Somebody thought it was a good idea to let me fly this thing.
slapper. Say slapper. <laughs> awesome piss pilot. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's pretty fun. Yeah, you'll you'll have a blast. Johnny Tower Bonanza, 204 Lima Echo, clear of 20 right at hotel. We're straight across to ACI West. That's for Lima Echo, cross right, 20 right at hotel, taxi ACI West via Bravo. Have a good night. All right, crossing 20 right at hotel, ACI West via Bravo. 204 Lima Echo, have a great night. Richard 207 Echo, contact, question uh, Vegas, good approach here. You'll let uh, 30 mega seconds slide. I mean, it, I float. I floated like more than halfway down the runway, so that does not count as a good landing. But it was a soft. Okay, let's lean for some taxi stuff. Let's turn off the strobes. We don't want to blind our friends. Um, Cyx17, thank you for following. I think I have to turn the sensitive sensitivity down on these rudders because I feel like when I'm on the ground, it's just like way too easy to get it out of shape. Okay, more eventful than I thought it was going to be, but that was that was pretty solid. That was a pretty good pretty good little uh half pilot edge <laughs> half um flights of economy. Uh be less sensitive, you heard the man, that's an order. <laughs> <laughs> uh, be less sensitive rudders you freaking assholes are you gonna cry oh god all right guys well thank you for joining me tonight um i'm glad we got at least a something interesting like uh just the engine shutting down and not restarting and really having to somewhat handle that i mean you still um you know there's still stuff that you'd want to do that I didn't do if that was really an emergency. But I think for pilot edge sake, that was a pretty a pretty decent engine out. Um, trying to get it started, picking a place to land, heading towards it uh, initially. You know, not turning back to LAX. I think that was a good decision too because we went basically straight into Torrance instead of having to turn um you know do a 180 and then do another 90 to land at lax so that was pretty pretty good um you got to use the paris parachute function um you mean control e <laughs> there's the ejection from a bonanza <laughs> and the elt goes off Yeah, that is freaking stupid. Geneva didn't yell at me. We landed nicely. We got the engine overhauled while we were still in the run-up area. That's... Oh, I can't get in it. I can't go... I, I can't get back in the plane. I can't go anywhere. Oh, God. It won't let me. I can't do anything. I don't know. I don't have like a key binding for turn off the ELT, but it won't let me. Bill is one I, of my favorite guys to yell at. It won't let me even change the views. Okay, that's a perfect place to stop. Thank you so much, guys. Um, we'll uh, see you in the Discord. See you next time. If if you're if you've just joined us and you want to 
hang out with us during the day. Heaven forbid. There you go. I uh, broke my legs. I can't move. Uh, the fire department is right to my right, so I think we're I think we're okay. All right. Thank you guys. Uh, talk to you later. Peace out.